but I'm gonna right click that. Excellent Dodge Durango, only 2,500 bucks. Please read entire ad, non-emissions counties only, so it has to check in. Oh, it's low mileage. It's in Dunwoody? <laughs> Lifted Silverado. This has got to be the world's dumbest OBS. Why do I secretly love it? <laughs> Car comes with a bunch of extra parts, included another set of wheels. Yeah, you're gonna need them because these are Kragers. 2006 Toyota Avalon East Cobb. We are buying a new car. It's been a good car for us. Runs and drives well. Flu few blemishes in the paint. Look at that reusable Publix bag in the back. If you see a Toyota Avalon in East Cobb with a reusable, what is up with the paint? Man. Could you throw in a few more reusable Publix bags to make up for that? And the thing with Bentleys is they're not really common enough. What is up with the paint, man? Did you, like, get drunk and wash this with a damn green sponge from your kitchen sink? I don't know. If that seems oddly specific, that's because I did that one time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It was just like a 93 Buick, it didn't matter. Let's see what else, Honda Fits. Range Rover Sport, Dodge Durango, 37.99. New transmission, new AC system, four shocks. What's wrong with it? I bought it new. The brake and airbag lights come on period. I don't need either of those accessories. Oh, 92 Honda Accord, 4,000 bucks. Drives great, everything works, all the bells and whistles. What is this, this is an EX. Yeah! Yeah, no, no, I, I don't think so. 1999, Dodge Durango, 5.2, two-wheel drive, slut plus. It's been a bit of a passion project. Ooh. No, the paint's gone. It's the front stented. It, uh, it's the, it says Ohio on the license plate. AC cold, heat hot, no rips or tears, fold down back seats, Michelin tires, still under warranty. The Mich Michelin is good. Michelin is is big, but is it is Mi even Michelin cannot overcome Ohio. Chevy Suburban, Hyundai Zara, got a Dodge that I already saw. 05 Camry for 10 grand. Oh, it's only got 50,000 miles and it's a manual. <laughs> Rarity alert. Hummer H2 motivated seller. 278 on it. <laughs> Look at the inside of this thing. Holy shit. Looks like the inside of a damn 80s conversion van that a homeless guy snuck into and lived in for seven and a half years. I'd be motivated too. 2017 Bentley Continental. This 2004 Accord seems like too much damn money. I don't care if it is in Brookhaven. It has some body scratches and dents. Front bumper and hood has minor damage. Interior is great shape with the exception of lip rip under the leather. What are you saying? It's in Roswell? White with tan leather, 3850, it's got an eight cylinder, motor and trans runs as it should. For a Ford, that's not saying much. Let's see, we got a Bentley, got a Range Rover. Oh, 95 Acura legend with photography skills. Where is he, Roswell? Let me guess, Snellville. Hmm. All original everything, 2,500 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it's like, and what do you mean all original? It's literally two cars grafted together. Um, this stuff, I think I saw all this yesterday. Chevy Express 2012 in Edgewood. Mercedes E420, did I see all this stuff? Lincoln Town Car. I feel like I would have clicked on that. Find the worst Honda Accord on Craigslist in your local area. Then take off 500 bucks. That's the value of a used RV of any kind. Ford does best when they... <clears throat> set themselves up for success by limiting the challenging factors in the automobile that they're creating. Um, 383 four-speed Roadrunner, that's an incredible amount of money for a car that's not even, like, a, a car, basically. I just, like, I really like that, that garage door opener up on the visor. That really does it for me. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, oh man, it's sprayed with all kinds of rust coating crap. Yeah, whoever thinks they're getting 38 grand for this is just completely dilute. Oh, I know why they're selling it. Because OJ just died and they think they've got a freaking gold mine. Oh, that's a reusable Aldi bag? That's that's equally, equal credit. <laughs> Anybody with the patience to shop at Aldi? I trust. And I put an enormous amount of time and money into this rig. I have a strange affinity for older red Dodges. I also have a Ram SRT10. This ad is not going uphill. How do you get a picture this skinny? There's no such thing as a cell phone that's as skinny as this picture. Look at his horns. And his rough countries. And his giant wheels that say hardcore on them. Yeah, those are, I mean, 
you part this thing out, you'll probably be living in Biltmore Estates. Holy shit. It looks pretty well kept under the, the club. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, you can just beat him to death with your cane. I bet that's exactly what this is. Maybe. I guess that's what- I don't know. Contact Mario, tower pressure light is on. The tire- <laughs> You have a Bentley and the fucking tire pressure light is on. It's the most inescapable, universal human, human experience. Be walking through the gates of hell. Sir, your tire pressure light is on. 2002, Dodge Jeep Grand Cherokee Grand Limited, I guess. Uh, look at his tape measure. 1979, Triumph TR7, complete rare barn find. I'm not weird enough to have one of those, which is saying a lot.